Hello and welcome to Out the Broom Cupboard with myself, Carly of Bardware. Hello and welcome to episode two of Out the Broom Cupboard. Now, we're going into just a thought for the day. We're going into a full moon energy. So we're going into the worm moon, um, which apparently comes from indigenous indigenous Americans where all the bugs and things are all starting to come up and the earth's warming up. Amazing stuff. Um, so yeah, we're, we're heading towards this full moon tonight and March the 6th. So it's tonight and tomorrow, March the 7th. Um, and it's quite interesting because I don't know how you guys all get affected by the full moon. Um, and sometimes I feel really affected by it and then sometimes I don't feel affected by it but my other half notices things Um, and then sometimes people are sort of saying oh you know I'm really tired, I'm this, I'm that, I feel lethargic, Uh, my head's all over the place and I'm like "Mm, I actually feel the other way, I feel quite energised and energetic and like come on let's have you and do stuff and be constructive and mm." so um yeah i i don't know how i don't know how you guys are affected by it all and whether or not you know you have the same thing where people around you are going oh the full moon and i'm tired and i stand there and think hang on a minute should i be feeling tired should i be the same as you and i think it all affects us in different ways i know the full moon affects the animals and you can see them. i'm i've got ponies i've got big pony and she tends to sometimes be a bit stupid on a full moon (laughs) sometimes she's really good sometimes she's really stupid um but as she's got older she's become a bit more sensible it's not like anybody really she's become old you sort of go it's too much effort to gallop around the field um so yeah so it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a funny one i mean every full moon is a whole sort of like accomplishments and um, uh, getting rid of what doesn't, um, what's not suited to you anymore, um, you know, sort of, a uh, new moon's normally a rebirth, but a full moon's normally sort of, you know, it's sort of the accomplishments is the energy is normally really good. But I have noticed when the moon eclipses, and I don't know whether or not everybody's the same, but I've noticed when the moon eclipses, if you have that type of energy, I don't always resonate with that type of energy. To me, it always feels a little bit heavy. And I say everybody's different. I tend not to put my crystals out on a moon eclipse. Um, if it's a sort of a normal full moon or a super moon, then yes, I will. But if it's eclipsing, then I won't. It just doesn't feel right to me. Um, so, yeah, it's quite interesting. As I say, a full moon is normally sort of, you know, get rid of the stuff that doesn't um, serve you anymore. Um, fulfill those accomplishments, set those intentions, create those dreams. Um, but we're going into a Virgo and I was just having a, a full moon in Virgo and I was just having a little look through, as you do, through Google, blah, blah, blah. Um, just seeing what everything else is going on. And it's actually sort of saying the full moon in Virgo, Virgo is very industrious. It's very get stuff done. Um, and I've noticed, I've had a lot of conversations just recently with people. Um, and one of them is uh, one of my, my best friend, um, uh, my best, best bud, uh, who lives not too far away from me. And um, we were having a general chit chat about sort of, you know, things and stuff and she said actually she's been feeling like she's been walking behind herself that's really interesting so um she's been feeling a little bit sort of like blur um you know not really with it and the serious case of the efforts if you know what i mean <laughs> the f-u-c-k's it's um and she said, you know, she's been really struggling to, like, get herself motivated and get herself going. So reading along those lines, apparently sort of that Piscean type energy has been sort of dragging people along. So if you've been feeling like that, then don't worry. There's lots of us are all feeling the same. Um, 
and she's been yeah she said it literally felt like she'd been walking behind herself all the time trying to catch up and just not a lot of motivation which isn't very handy when you obviously need to get stuff done because she um like me runs a little stall and we tend to go together as well and work together um so when you need to when you need to get stuff organized <laughs> it's not the best place to be um but hopefully with this this full moon coming up now um and i have noticed and i think it's also this time of year it's spring isn't it it's the it's the whole energy shift when it comes into being in spring so you find a you know the whole sort of trees are budding the shift changes the birds are busier um and hopefully along with the full moon in virgo tonight and early tomorrow morning um that should shift so if you have been struggling and feeling a bit blur and a bit dragging your heels hopefully that shift should be and I know I have funny enough I noticed yesterday I suddenly started becoming very industrious and pro proactive you know I started tidying up down the ponies and doing this and blah, 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 blah. I'm also finding that I'm getting very frustrated I mean my house is <laughs> I sat here looking around my house is lived in shall I put it that way <laughs> It's lived in. It's not a show house. It's never going to be a show house. It's not immaculate. I have ponies. I have grandchildren. Um, I have a small, a small house and lots of stuff. Let's put it that way. And my other half is here as well. And he has lots of stuff. But I also have a lot of the bardware stuff as well. So there's a lot of stall stuff. There's a lot of stock. There's stuff that I'm in the process of making. Um, so there's, you know, bits and pieces and so forth. I also organise fairs. So there's paperwork for that. Um, you know, sort of like, you know, refreshments this way, that type of thing. So there's paperwork for that. There's flyers. I also um, help a chap out who lives next door to me. So I've got his washing folded up on the sofa. So my house is, is, is lived in. Um, and normally it doesn't bother me. I normally sit here and go, oh, oh yeah, whatever. But I'm also finding that I'm coming along going, I just want to sort it out. I just got to sort it out. But then when I come to sort it out, I'm a bit like, oh, really? Oh, I can't be asked. Um and then sit there and find myself scrolling through or doing something else or getting involved with doing birdware or <laughs> creating and making something. So the tidying up never gets done. So I'm hoping, personally, <laughs> I'm hoping that this full moon is going to start making me a bit more creative, a bit more industrious and a bit more like bish bash bosh, let's get this done um, because I really need to get a wiggle on. Um so yeah that's sort of how I'm dealing with this this full moon I mean I can feel the shift um I know there's sometimes when there's a full moon I don't even notice I, well I know it's happening but I don't even notice I change but my other half who says he isn't in touch with things yeah uh notices me change and he'll look at me and they'll go well you're all ratty and irritated and all huffing and puffing <laughs> He normally says to me, I go, <sighs> and he'll say to me, what's wrong? And I'll go, I say, why? You're huffing and puffing, am I? Ooh. He says, where are we? I, go, well, I don't know, in my house, why? where are we? And and he'll go, oh, I'll, I'll have a look. And they'll go, oh, full moon coming up. And I'll be like, oh, okay. And that's because I'm getting a little bit irritated. <laughs> so there's sometimes that happens and I don't even realise it. Um, so yeah, it's just interesting. It was sort of a thought pattern. I sat there thinking about it and wondered how everybody else deals with it. And as I say, sometimes people say to me, "Oh, you know, they're suffering with this and suffering with energy change and headaches and da da da." And I'm think I'm just going completely the opposite way and going, "Yay, let's get stuff done." Um, so yeah, it's quite interesting. I just sort of sort of flag it up and put it out there. So if you are struggling and things are getting a little bit heavy, uh, or they have been heavy. And you feel like you're walking out yourself like my lovely friend is. Um, don't worry, you're not alone. I think it's been a case of upsy downsy. And I also think that brings in a lot of uh, because you're walking behind yourself. I think it brings in a lot of that. Um, oh, you know, sort of gets named the imposter syndrome, doesn't it? But that whole sort of, you know, are you doing what you're supposed to be doing? 
are you really where you're supposed to be? Well, I think sometimes you're exactly where you're supposed to be, but I also think that sometimes um, you are not challenged, but you are put in a position where we always say, you know, experiences make us stronger, life makes us stronger. Um, and I think that sometimes we're put in positions where we have to sort of literally give ourselves a little bit of a kick up the ass and go, no, come on, don't be so silly. And I know I've struggled with this whole thing. I've struggled with um, why am I doing this? I'm not good enough to be doing this. What's going on? So I know that I've been in that position. Um, and then I have to sort of snap myself out of it and go, don't be so silly. Um, but I know that that's been a real struggle because obviously once you start dragging your heels, you then start going, where am I supposed to be going? Um, and I think it's a case of, you know, we just have to not get rid of it, not push that feeling aside, but embrace that feeling. Acknowledge that it's there. Go, yes, I'm completely aware of what I'm feeling. I know what I'm doing, but I am good enough. I am capable of doing what I'm doing and I am where I am supposed to be. And I'm not going to listen to your um, the imposter syndrome. I'm not going to listen to you. I'm not going to listen to myself telling myself or my intuition or anything else telling me that I, I shouldn't be here or asking questions like, what are you doing here? Because you're perfectly entitled to be where you are. So I think that's a real struggle. So hopefully with this full moon, all that um, dragging stuff will release it. Everyone can release it and let it go forward um, and let it move us forward. So coming up with this full moon, I really think it's really, if you get a chance and it's not too cold, it's supposed to go to minus two. <laughs> maybe <don't. laughs> wrap up warm. Um, and maybe a bit of moon bathing would be in call for. I know I love it when there's a full moon. I walk home from the ponies with my headlamp off. Love it, love it, love it. So um, maybe that's the thought pattern for this full moon. I've also noticed quite interesting. I've listened to two people this morning, their um, weekly readings um, and their readings for Monday. And both of the readings and they, you know, both both very good established mediums. Um and both of the readings are highlighting um, love and relationship. Um, and I really think that enhances the whole learning to love yourself and learning to um, accept yourself. And I always say this and I always I've, I've when I've seminared on the stall and I always say that being true to yourself is the hardest thing in the world because you can fob everybody else off you know yeah, yeah I'm fine yeah yeah I know what I'm doing yeah yeah I'm all right yeah and you just sweep it under the carpet because you're trying to convince yourself but actually only you really know you so actually to be true and honest to yourself is really really hard work um, and I found when I started being true to myself I started by looking in the mirror and really looking into my own eyes they always say your eyes are your window to your soul and I think that's very true um, so standing in front of the mirror and looking at yourself just your face um, and your eyes and looking into your eyes and going really what really do I need and don't try and manipulate the answer that you want to hear just just let it come in or let nothing come in and just look at yourself um, and be honest with yourself um, and I think that's a massive step forward so I think the love and relationship things is remember to have that love relationship with yourself remember to love yourself whether um, you take time out or whether or not you go with friends or whether or not you just get to grips with being you um, I think it's a case of embracing yourself so yeah very interesting so that is our episode two. Uh, let me know what you think and your thoughts of your full moon, you know, whether you have rituals or what happens to you on a full moon. Um, I'd really love to know. So hopefully join me in episode three. Take care, my lovelies.
Bye.